reports scrutinized today are the property of the Young Turks and CNN respectively. The views posted today are the intellectual property of the Laughing Ogre and are no way meant to reflect the views or ideas of any sane human being. Now sit back and relax as we find out if Kellyanne Conway's a liar. Here is the Laughing Ogre. <laughs> Good to be back and see you again here at YouTube. Told you I'd be watching out for you. I uh, got something here I kind of want to jump into right away because I don't want to take forever on it. And most of the time these people are a waste of my time. But Kellyanne Conway is, I think, a pretty decent person. She does work for Donald Trump, so the media can't say anything good about her. And they have to jump on things like Donna Brazil comes to mind. She was a horrific, lying piece of garbage. Oh, man, they just they let... A lot of people come to mind. And so let's take a look and see. <clears throat> let's listen to the Young Turks for a second. Last week, when Kellyanne Conway appeared on MSNBC with Chris Matthews and invented the entire Bowling Green massacre, uh, she later said after the interview that the whole reason, you know, blah, 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 she misspoke blah, blah, blah. one word. That's how she word. described that as, as explaining her lie away by saying huh. she simply misspoke one word. Lie. Now, I guess we're left to the determine time. what that one word was, but here's the thing. It's hard for me to look Kelly at this Kellyanne Conway actually lied about the lie. Well, because as it well. turns out, she didn't misspeak. She meant exactly what she said because Cosmo has now released an interview with Kellyanne Conway that was done several days before the MSNBC interview where she once again, or I guess originally, created the entire Bowling Green Massacre lie. She said the same thing to Cosmo that she said on MSNBC a few days later. As if that with isn't bad people, enough. With these folks, if it's their folks, they can make a mistake, misspeak. Mrs. Conway here, she's... I, I'm not going to make excuses for it. I, I'm not sure. I haven't really looked into this deeply, and I will. After this, I'll look into it deeply. If I need to make any retractions or add anything to it, I will. But I believe that she's got a tremendous amount of things to remember. Uh, she misspoke. It's going to talk about them, so I'm not going to do it now. Shortly after that Cosmo interview, but before the MSNBC interview, she spoke to TMZ, where she repeated... The Bowling Green Massacre TMZ. terrorist attack lie Real great source that she for your completely news, invented you in her head. In her head. Twice before her appearance on MSNBC, she made up this lie. And then after she gets busted on MSNBC, she makes up another lie to cover up that lie, forgetting she'd already lied about it twice on uh, to news organizations that either have it on video or audio or on paper. This woman is so crazy delusional that it makes you wonder how she's even still involved in the Trump administration. Everyone is mocking this woman because she can't tell the truth. It's not that she doesn't want to tell the truth. I honestly believe at this point she is physically incapable of saying anything that is accurate. She lives in an alternate reality where alt facts rule. It's alt facts and alt right. That is Kellyanne Conway. So why is Trump keeping her around? We know that he can't stand people that get ridiculed. We know that he can't stand people who can't stand up for themselves. And that's what's happening with Kellyanne Conway. But I will say this whole thing. I, I'm just going to let him just ramble to close to the end. But are you kidding? Is this do you all know who Kellyanne Conway is? This guy is out of his mind. She, if she was there, he, I'd bet he won't have her on. She would crush him, and I doubt she'd go on to see this <laughs> this dude anyway. I don't say much about him. You know, I, I don't want to tag people on their physical looks. They don't have much choice for that, you know, if they're inbred or whatever, or some silly, silly moron. It could be genetics. It is absolutely hilarious. Because in today's <laughs> digital age, you can't just make something up on national television. We have the internet. We have books. We can look things up and verify. 
Oh, yeah. And Kellyanne Conway and even Donald Trump don't seem to understand that. Who is this guy? Especially I, when you consider the fact that now we have he's a human news being outlets brain. like Cosmopolitan and TMZ having to get into the political outlets. realm to say, hey, you're lying rags. about things. Uh, TMZ, three mile zone. you got to be kidding me. That is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in my life. Teen Vogue has been phenomenal in coverage. Teen Vogue. I remember Tucker just tearing up this <laughs> Teen Vogue. Of the Trump administration. Why are these oh, vanity news outlets suddenly becoming more credible and better at their jobs than outlets like MSNBC? <laughs> Well, that's an easy one. MSNBC is not good. and They're not credible. That is even crazier than the things that come out of Kellyanne Conway's mouth. And that's why CNN refused to even let her come back on the network. Because I think they have now. Because speaking of Kellyanne Conway lies, when CNN last week uh, wanted Mike Pence, White House offered Kellyanne Conway. They said thanks, but no thanks. Uh, she has a very real problem with being honest. Kellyanne Conway then said, no, she's the one who declined the CNN interview, to which CNN had to come out and publicly say, that's not true. We well, told you did, we didn't want you sure, on our kind of network. Doubt it. Kellyanne Conway is immune to the truth. She is she's immune, immune to immune reality. To your bullshit attacks. But luckily for the entire planet, we have plenty of news organizations out Plan. there that well, do understand the truth, that understand reality. Oh my goodness, I can't have this up forever because I'm not going to advertise one. But i tell you what we will do, we're going to go right over here to this CNN media. It says, will Trump give Conway leniency that uh, he won't give to media? Well, since she's done a lot to help him, and the media has tried smearing him ever since he announced that he was going to try to run for the nomination of the Republicans for, for presidential candidate, which he won, obviously, and won the presidency in the face of this onslaught. And that, that's the main reason I like Trump, people, because he finds a way to make it work, finds a made a way to make it work. And look at what he's doing now. These people have to try to spin however they can to make it seem bad, the wonderful things he's doing. But this I'll be able to kind of narrate for you, I believe, and uh, we'll, um, um, I, I want to kind of take this apart a little bit, too. Just break it down, dissect it a little bit. CNN, Conway cites non-existent massacre. Now listen, I, <laughs> she has her reasons, and it, it's going to say. Trump advisor Kellyanne Conway referred to the Bowling Green Massacre to defend I Trump's immigration ban. I information to people that President Obama had a six-month ban on the uh, Iraqi refugee Kelly. program after two Iraqis came here to this country, were radicalized, and they were the master, masterminds behind the Bowling Green Massacre. Well, most people don't know that because it didn't get covered. Hmm. Among there was no such thing as the Bowling Green Massacre. They said at first there was inaccuracies in their statement. I, I forgot I was supposed to be narrating this. And Obama didn't ban Iraqi refugees from the country for six months. Well, that's nice because it's just, it's, I think it's going to say Conway was likely referring to the two Iraqi men who, well, let me say this before I go on to this. The problem with that is, is there's no ban now. There's a 90-day hold. And Obama did put a, a hold, a extreme vetting in place. You know, come on. It's the same thing. They're trying to make this shoehorn their own agendas in. I hope everyone can see this. And, uh... Anybody that don't know, ask me about the ask me about the feather there in the Trump, and I'll tell you what it's all about. I've already mentioned it in another video. Conway was likely referring to two Iraqi men who entered the U.S. with refugee status. They were accused in 2011 of trying to get weapons to Al-Qaeda in Iraq. Also, I don't believe it says it on this, but uh, the men lived in Bowling Green, Kentucky, but were not uh, planning acts of terrorism in U.S. soil. Their fingerprints were found on an IED. I believe it was in Iraq. Look it up. You'll be able to see. These were bad people here to do bad things. You know, there's Bench. Maybe she San Bernardino and, and was trying to tie it in this. I don't know. I ain't going to make excuses for her. I'm sure she'll come out with a statement when she gets her act together, and I'm sure they'll say her lies together. I don't know. Some of it may be misdirection and untrue, but she'll put it together. She always makes these fools look stupid. That's why they're attacking her. 
not planned it. And how do they know that? That's insane. The case prompted President Obama to order about 58,000 Iraqi refugees to be revetted, but not banned. No one is banning refugees right now. Conway explained her reference to the Bowling Green Massacre on Twitter. Uh, it says, this is harder for me to read. It's a little blurry. I hope it comes through okay. It says, on MSNBC and NBC, I meant to say, Bowling Green terrorists, as reported here. And so, huh? Is that true, the Bowling Green Terrace? I, of course, would leave that up to, you know, you or whoever that's looking into this. Everybody must make up their own mind, make their own decisions. Uh, I'm surely not going to tell you how to think, how to live. I would say that the Young Turks is a horrible place to try to get any news. I would look at them like I'd look at the Daily Show or the Colbert Report. <laughs> I remember that. And now Steven's like not his character anymore. He's such a moron. I can't stand him. I, anybody that did remember, uh, uh, what was that? Candy? Oh, Strangers with Candy. <laughs> and he played like the principal of a school that let this older lady back that would snort Drano. She was a severe drug addict. It's, just, it's crazy. If you haven't seen Strangers with Candy, check it out. And he was a producer, one of the writers. He starred in it. He's funny when he's not being himself. But when he's being himself, he's just a, a complete jack jackball so look I'm just trying to pop this up and encourage you to come and swing by and check out one of my many videos uh, I, I work I work kind of hard and all I mean I, it doesn't really it's not your affair that I work hard or don't it's it's my business I enjoy working and uh, you know I'm, I'm just I'm wanting to put this content out there uh, for self edification, of course. Everybody would do, of course, anybody would do something like this for self edification. I, I want to make it. But also, I want to make it in an honest way. I want to end this kind of nonsense that's called news. Look into it and find out that those two Iraqi men had their finger, or one of them had their fingerprints on an IED. Look into who they were. I did briefly. I'm just going to tell you they're terrible people. She misspoke terrorists. They say she did it twice, TMZ. I would say Mrs. Conway has a lot on her plate, wouldn't you? If we could even consider being open. You know, the way that the press would have covered this if it was Hillary. Yeah, they would have made any excuse they possibly could have for her. They would have backed her up. You know, they didn't demonize her. They gave her all the excuses and she was garbage and a liar. Anything. That wasn't the idea of my vote. The idea of my vote was I heard what he was saying in his rallies. I, I heard the promises he made. I knew he was a type A, uh, ecocentric, um, all id, hardly any e super ego or ego, all id, can do kind of guy that was crazy enough to do everything in his power to make these things happen. He's talking about big tax breaks coming up. They're gonna cry because the rich will get them, but I'll, I'll get them too. And Mrs. Ogre and I figured it out. If he does what he says, it would be a clean gain of somewhere around $12,000 a year. That's him giving me 12, that's him allowing me to keep 12,000 more of our dollars than what we would pay. Um, I'm gonna tell you what, we get that kind of, of money that we can keep, allow us to keep our own money and it's not stolen from us, then I guarantee you that money will go to charities. I, I, I'm, I'm a generous person, Mrs. Ogre is a generous person. Don't just assume that somebody would not do the right thing. So I just want to encourage you to go check out my channel. Um, you see, yeah, some are more popular than others, and I'm not going to just let this <laughs> ramble on, but I do want to mention that the Tree of Logic has been in a, a, a little bit of, oh, man, they're attacking her. And, um, you know, no matter how we feel uh, sometimes about someone or their ideas, if we embrace every bit of what they say, it's, it's important. I believe Voltaire first said, I may not agree with what you say, but I will defend to the death your right to say it. And also, uh, we have, you know, the other people get credit for it, but I believe it was Voltaire, or one of those, some Nietzsche, somebody correct me if I'm wrong on who said it originally. Uh, Thomas Jefferson, we give credit for here in the United States, but we didn't do everything first. So I just want to remind you, that even though I think this is a terrible person, I stand up for her right to say anything, even if it is her lies, I guess. For her, 
for her very uh, horrible person. So, you know, just one more little plug for my own self. And look, I'm, I've got somebody up there. You can say, oh, I'm trying to click the wrong spot. You can see that the hard bastard, I mean, he's he's on my top list there. And go, just go by and check out his channel. He's got a really nice setup. A lot of excellent uh, videos on there. Uh, you know, while you're there, why don't you just swing by and see the Tree of Logic or or uh, or the Britisher. He's got a nice setup also. Really nice when you get there. It gets to this cool list. Uh, maybe one of these guys will tell me how they did this. Well, I knew this was going to be a little long. Heck, if you go down long enough here, I think you see my face. It's buried pretty deep now. And, uh, you know, I'm not that popular. Oh, there it is. Look right there. There it is. Isn't that funny? Uh, and, uh, he did a really excellent satirical like uh, commentary about myself and I sure do appreciate it I, I really I really enjoy the Britisher he's kind enough to give me a lot of his time when I know he's a very busy person I want you to I want to say this listen when you're watching a minute of his content I can almost guarantee you that he has 15 minutes of his time in that in doing the audio he's he's the kind of guy I bet you his house is spotless I bet you could eat off the toilet seat and then it's either up or down and wherever he wants it and there's probably good smelling soaps on the back of the toilet seat maybe a candle burning all the time I bet his house is immaculate uh, anyway I'm done <laughs> I'm done kissing but so I just want to wrap it up here folks I again I need to set it up so I can have a timer and I don't just go off and and on a wild rant but I hope you enjoyed coming to my world I hope you enjoyed my take on this Bowling Green Massacre thing. I, I tend to believe Mrs. Conway is under a lot of pressure, that she's uh, got a million things on the old bean, and that she misspoke. And if not, hey, I don't know what to say. Propaganda is nothing new in the world of politics. I mean, the Clintons were great, didn't I? I remember something about the bombing of an aspirin factory right about the time the topic of, of, of being filleted in the Oval Office came up. So, you know, let's put things in perspective. Not that that's worse than anything or whatever. Let's just put things in perspective and realize one thing. We're dealing with politics and those that run it. I could say a few more things, but instead of doing that, I'm just going to say, remember, folks, be good to you. You love. Be quick to say you're sorry. Be quick to accept an apology. Especially when that thing your friend, family member, or loved one has done seems to be so big. And like you'll never ever forget it. Because viewers, constant viewers, in a moment you think not, your friends, your family members, your loved ones, your life and your cause will depart from you. <laughs> hey listen. I'll be looking for you soon now. You hear? You understand what I'm saying? I got my eye out for you. I got my eye out for you, and I care about everyone. Move, bitch. Get out the way.